scam and barren summits to the verdant place. Each horizon is a new beginning, rise and rain. Far from the fjords and the ice cold currents, brave and sore over new frontiers. Songs and sagas of a fake determined shields and spears. Vows of favor or the thrill of blunder pull together for the clan and kin. Clank of hammers and the crash of thunder pound within. Oh, 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 the echoes of eternity. Oh, 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 Hello there, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo naval. And what we're going to do for this one is a bit different from the other ones, and we're going to abuse what Nara has done to the AI to make it super easy to grind intel and money. This is actually a really good way to grind money without an A10. It's actually probably one of the best, if not even better than the one at Fort. Other than that, let's get to it. You want to spawn at the Ronograd spawn location, and then request a little bird if you have one. Maybe a Chinook, but I suggest a little bit because you can get out immediately and it's very small for where you're going to be landing. Now we will wait for the engine to start up. Alright, now that the engine has started, what you're going to do is you're going to go up and then go straight ahead. So even for my low graphics people, what you need to do is just go straight ahead and then just stay close to the water just so that you can see stuff and don't feel like you're not going anywhere just go straight until you find a super steep hill so it's not this one it's the one right after it you won't get shot by AA you're way too far away you won't get detected or anything just keep flying until you see this hill and then you will see a little bit of a gap just right here just go into it hug this mountain all the way down make sure you're holding shift until you get to the water don't go over that right side of the hill, and you will be fine until you get to where we need to land. Alright, then you just keep going this way, and then check this crane right here for snipers. There can be one in that little thing below the main deck, on the back of it, and on the end of the crane. And sometimes if there is one, if there's a container, there can be one on the container. Now after that, you want to just fly up right here. And then you want to be spotted by somebody. After you're spotted, take out both the guys there. And then immediately just run over here. And then make sure you're seen by everybody. Then prone. After that, you, I suggest that you deal with snipers first. So deal with any sniper that is on one of these cranes. If you see any, those ones can't hit you. And that one can't either. Now after you've dealt with those guys, just start shooting these people. They're going to come straight at you. Almost the entire base will just come right at you. And sometimes you will get it from the side. So make sure you are using audio. But they come at you at a very robotic area. And if somebody does come at you from the other side, you can use the vitamin glitch. You don't take that much damage here either. So it's super overpowered. If you want to use your grenade here, you can. Especially whenever they get bunched up like that much. Because... You will either have, because at this point, you would either have to use full auto or just hope that you can kill them fast enough with semi auto. Make sure you try to hit headshots at all times just so that you can preserve your ammo as much as possible. And if you do see a smoker or an advance getting way too close for comfort, just mag dump him. That's, that's safer than not mag dumping him. Like, see there? There you go. If you think you can re can control your recoil well, you can also full auto all those guys the whole time. I don't suggest it, but it is an option. Sometimes there will... Actually, every time I've done this, there's been some group stuck up there. You can just take them out from here. This is still semi-difficult with an optic on... So, maybe bring, like, a DMR weapon is what I would suggest most of the time. 
like Scar H or just something with a good ammo capacity. And if you want to grab the intel, go ahead and grab it now because there's probably enough intel just in this one straight line right here for you to grab it all. There you go. Now I'm full on intel. Now after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is just come around here, check the right side because there can be some guy here. And then just take him out. I use the deagle for silent takedowns because, well, it's a one-shot weapon. There's no need to be silent if he's just going to die immediately. Come up the stairs, check left and right. Check before you cross left and right. And then go over here to the left side. Come around here, make sure you use third person peeking. Look to the left, way down there. If you don't see anybody, that's fine. Look behind that barrier on the right. Third person peeking in there. There's nobody there. Go to this barrier. If you don't see anybody, then you're good to go. And then look at look to the right towards the helipad. Take out anybody who's there. There can be, I believe, up to two people over here sometimes. And then come over to here. This so is this next container area. Pass this first area after checking that there's nobody there. Run around here. Check if there's anybody over here via third person. Third person through there. There's nobody there. And then check around here. Make sure there's nobody here. And now that we've verified that nobody is here, you can either go over to this area over here and then check right and then left. Or you could just go over here, I believe. Or you could just go over to here. Now that you're over here, there can be some guy standing about right here. If there is somebody, just take him out quietly. I say quietly, just hit him in the head really hard. And then you want to take out these gunners from a very long distance because if they notice you, there's a good chance that you'll die, especially if you're out in the open like this. So just take him out like that. You can leave the drivers until you get up close because they're not going to shoot back. Not even try, which is kind of sad. But it's still you versus them, so who cares? Then you're just going to check over here and make sure that there's not an advantage behind that siren right there. If there is and you still have your grenade, just cook it for about four seconds and then throw it right there on the pole. That should hit him in the face. But. If you really want to be safe and you don't have a grenade, just come way far back and then just deal, on, deal with them from a range. Advanced units are only really good if you're right in their face. But other than that, they are not as good as you would think. So after... So after you've checked that, come back here. Make sure there's nobody in this right area. There's a left area as well. We already kind of checked this, but we need to check behind those containers. There's nobody there. And then for safe measures, you can blow up these barrels. See if you get any kills. I didn't get any kills, so that is pretty much clear. And now you just want to take out these guys. And the trucks and the cars. If you don't have a lot of ammo, just use the Humvees if you need to. Just take them all out. And now for the fun part. So, you've cleared most of the base, but there's still some guys left. They will most likely come to the flag unless they are snipers, in which case you will need to find them. In this case, we have already found them, we just haven't shot them yet. So from here, because I can counter snipe better than they can. And we are still not clear. Okay. There's even more. We still need to go searching for them, so just continue back here. And kind of follow this path. Go through here, check right, check left, and... Just keep doing check right, check left anytime you enter a new area with a wall or a divider of some kind. That should keep you alive. And here we go. Look, we have some guy. Oh, I can't shoot through that, apparently. We got two guys. 
And we still got enemies. This is the fun part about naval. It's that it's om almost impossible to completely clear with any sort of pathing, unless you have the whole army that you bring. So clearing this is decently impressive. I wouldn't say as impressive as clearing fort or anything like that. Now the fact that he came up to me is a really good sign. That tells me that the enemies are heading towards the flagpole. Which happens after there's, I think, about three enemies total left in the base. They just all head towards the flagpole because they're like, We need to protect this flag. We can't let it be PL5. We are enabling our neighboring PLIs would just laugh at us. Or something like that. After you've checked up here, you can proceed down these stairs. Or if you want to go back to the flag and see there, you can if you want to. Come down here. You don't have to really come over to the left side because if you walked out to this ledge, you would have been shot by somebody. Then you check over here, step out onto this ledge a little bit, but not too much. There's nobody there. You check over there. There's nobody there. You don't have to go down these stairs because there's nobody out there or over there. So there's nobody on that bottom level. So now I'll just head back to the flagpole. And there we go. Look, they did come to the flag. And look, and looky there. It is now PL5. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other than that, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I try to upload every Saturday. Other than that, bye.